guys welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be doing this really beautiful kind of purple halo smoky eye which is perfect for Valentine's Day which I know we are fast approaching it's been a while since I posted a Valentine's Day makeup look on my channel and I think the first one I ever did was the first video that I put on YouTube and yeah that just really makes me cringe thinking about it so please don't go and watch it so this look is inspired by a makeup artist that I recently discovered on Instagram her name is Little Dust M UA and she created this absolutely beautiful kind of purple halo smoky eye instead of using champagne in the middle of the lid which I did she used this really intense gold but I kind of wanted to switch it up a little bit today and to sort of do my own take on it but I absolutely loved the intense purple and I just thought it'd be perfect Valentine's Day because Valentine's Day for me sort of screams pinks and purples and sort of reds so I know that I have done a lot of pink Valentine's Day tutorials before so again I wanted to switch it up and use a little bit more of a vibrant purple so I know I haven't been on YouTube for a little while now and for that I really really do apologise. If you guys are not already following me on my Instagram then you probably don't know that I'm actually 17 weeks pregnant and when I found out I was pregnant I kind of wanted to take a little bit of a step back from YouTube and kind of like enjoy my pregnancy and I know that like the first trimester is probably the roughest that you feel throughout the whole pregnancy and for me that definitely was the case so I didn't really feel like filming too much and yeah now that I'm kind of like past the first trimester and I feel so so much better I just really want to get back into filming and I've missed it so much like sitting here and chatting to you guys and like creating looks for you so I really wanted to pop on here today and create this look and do this tutorial for you basically so guys without further ado I'm going to jump into this tutorial I am going to be doing a little bit of a chit chat video today because I have got so much to tell you guys and yeah I'm just hoping it's not going to be too too long and too boring for you so if you want to see how I got this Valentine's day a makeup look then just keep watching so to start off this look I'm gonna be prepping my skin so I'm just gonna be tying my hair back off my face and then the first thing that I'm gonna go in with is this serum and this is by wild about beauty I think I got this out of the birch box a while ago and I've been loving this this is their rose water illuminating serum it's a really really nice skincare product it's got a lot of glow in it as well it almost looks like kind of like lilac when it comes out I suppose that's the rose water, I'm not actually too sure, but it kind of looks a bit hmm, interesting. So I'm just going to be using that all over the face. To prep the skin, I'm going to be using this MAC Prep and Prime. This is their Skin Base Visage Primer, and I've had this in my kit for such a long time. I've used it on so many clients, but I never actually use it on myself. And I pulled it out the other day and used it, and I absolutely love this. It really, really helps keep the foundation on a lot longer and I just love the consistency of it so again I'm just going to be putting that on top of the serum and now because this is a nice like Valentine's look you want your skin to look absolutely flawless well I would do it anyway so I'm going to be going in with a little bit of the Smashbox photo finish primer this is their pore minimizing one and I'm just going to use a tiny bit on the places where I have larger pores so that is pretty much around this area so again I'm just going to be putting a tiny tiny amount in there and I'm just going to be sort of dabbing it and working it into the skin and it's quite good this primer it almost acts as kind of like a cement for your pores so you can really notice that it covers them up and I tend to have them around this area but some people might have them elsewhere on their face but it's just a really really good primer if you do suffer from larger pores so now the skin's prepped so I'm going to be moving on to foundation. So I'm going to be taking a mixture of these two. This one is a Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation and then also the Clinique Beyond Perfecting. So the Clinique one is very, very full coverage and it's very long wearing. So depending on what you guys are doing on Valentine's Day, whether or not you're going out for the whole day and the night, this is a really, really good foundation for kind of holding onto your skin. It's almost very comparable to the Estee Lauder Double Wear if you guys are familiar with that foundation. So again, very, very full coverage, very, very long wearing. Uh, so I love the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation. This one again is a little bit more natural, uh, but again very buildable. So if you guys wanted a more natural look to your skin, then I would probably opt for this one over the Clinique. But I love these two mixing together because this one just gives a little bit more of a dewy look where the Clinique can be a little bit drying if you do have drier skin. So I love mixing these together for my skin type. I just think it gives a really beautiful, flawless look to the skin. So I am going to be using my Beauty Blender as always. And I recently picked up this Cover FX Cover 
custom enhancer drops. I believe these have been all over YouTube recently and I wanted to pick it up to give it a go and I actually got the colour Celestial. I'm not sure how I feel about this highlighter yet. I like mixing it in with foundation but I don't necessarily like putting it on as a highlighter. I find that it's really hard to blend that way. I've tried it with so many different like methods using my fingers with a beauty blender with a brush that type of thing and it can never sort of it doesn't sit right on the skin so I don't know whether I'm doing something wrong or whether you guys might have a bit of a tip for me but if you do then let me know but again I just really like mixing a couple of drops into this foundation to kind of give a little bit more luminosity and dewiness to the skin okay so now I'm just going to be blending this in so I kind of wanted to do like a bit of a chit chat video for you guys today because if you guys know, if you've been following me on Instagram, then you know I am actually pregnant, which is absolutely amazing. Me and my husband, Adam, are so happy We're over the moon. I'm about 17 weeks now. Um, so that's probably the reason why I've been a little bit absent on YouTube recently. And yeah, I just kind of like wanted to take a little bit of time out and kind of like enjoy the pregnancy, I suppose. So now I feel like I want to be back on YouTube and like doing this again because I really, really miss it. So it's just nice to be sitting down in front of you guys and just like having a bit of an informal chat. The pregnancy so far has been touch wood fine. I did have quite a few symptoms in the first trimester. I did actually do a video a few weeks ago um, talking all about my first trimester and like the symptoms and that type of thing. But I didn't really know whether I should put it on my channel because my channel is mainly beauty, makeup, that type of thing. I didn't really know if it would go. But I know a lot of people tend to do pregnancy updates like by week. Um, so I don't know, if you guys are interested in watching those videos, like I'll be quite happy to put it up for you. It just kind of like explains like a little bit about my first trimester and like what I've been experienced so far and that type of thing. So yeah, if you guys are interested in seeing that video, then either like this video or kind of let me know in the comments. Okay, so now moving on to concealer, I'm gonna be taking this one by It's Cosmetics and this is their Bye Bye Under Eye. I'm just gonna be using it a little bit at first just to kind of like prime my eyes in a way and just to get rid of that darkness. And then for the main concealer, I'm gonna be using my good old trusted MAC Pro Longwear. So I'm just gonna be buffing this in first and then this over the top. So if you guys suffer from quite a lot of darkness underneath your eyes, I really highly recommend this concealer. It's total full coverage uh, and it's very long wearing as well and it doesn't crease. So it's absolutely amazing. So I have been using it so much recently and yeah, it's just one of my favourites. So you can see just how much darkness that has covered up. So now that's blended out, I'm going to be baking underneath the eyes with a little bit of the Laura Mercier translucent powder. So I recently picked this up again after so long, I've run out. And I was using the, um, I think it's the Collection 2000 Sheer Glow. I've spoke about that powder before on my channel. And it's a really, really good comparable one it's for use for baking. And I absolutely love this method. I know it's probably dying on its arse a bit now. Like, I don't think many people are really using it that much anymore. But I just absolutely love it for holding my concealer into place. And because we're doing quite a dramatic look on the eyes today, if we do have any fallout, it's just going to be so easy just to wipe away any of the mess I'm underneath the eyes. So now I went in off camera and just quickly filled in my eyebrows. So I'm just going to be moving on to eyeshadow and to start off this look I'm going to be using a transitional shade. This one is Creme Brulee by Makeup Geek. So I'm just going to be using this on my Zoeva Luxe Crease Brush and I'm just going to be running this through the crease. So now to darken up the crease, I'm going to be using this shade also by Makeup Geek and this is called Cherry Cola and this is a really sort of nice dark sort of purpley brown colour so it's going to work really well in the crease with that kind of vibrant purple that we're going to put on in a bit. And to do that I'm going to be using my Zoeva Luxe Petite Crease Brush. So I like to put my head back when I focus colours in the crease. So I always start off with the maximum amount of product sort of like in the middle part of the lid especially and now we're doing kind of like a halo effect eye um, if I was doing more like a cat eye I would focus more of the eyeshadow on the outer part of the eye but as we're doing this halo one I'm going to start off in the middle and then just kind of like distribute the eyeshadow evenly from the inner corner over to the outer corner so the key to this eyeshadow look is just to really blend and like take your time with it because we are working with quite a few sort of bold and dark colours 
you always want to make sure that you take your time and if you feel like it's getting too harsh you can always go back in with that first brush with with a little bit of that creme brulee shade just kind of run that through the outer edge of that eyeshadow just to kind of diffuse it slightly Okay, so now that's all blended through, I'm gonna be using a really nice vibrant purple, and for that I'm gonna be taking this shade here called Wham Bam. This is from the collab that Nikki Tutorial's done with Too Faced, the Power of Makeup palette, and I really, really, really love this purple shade. So I'm just gonna be focusing this mainly on the outer portion of the eye and also the inner portion of the eye, and kind of leaving the middle part bare. And also when you get to the inner part, you can almost like sort of take the pressure off the brush a little bit just to kind of blend that in so it's not kind of like going to be a start stop line if that makes sense. So just kind of lightly pass it in. So I'm also going to be running a little bit of that wham bam through the crease as well just to kind of marry those two shades together. So again just take your time with the whole blending process if you're going to see any sort of harsh lines just go back in with that bigger blending brush and just buff them through so now just to intensify the outer corner and also the inner corner a little bit more i'm just going to be taking that cherry cola shade again and i'm just going to be using that on a pencil brush just to add a little bit more definition see although this look is like really dramatic i still want it to be quite soft and kind of blown out if that makes sense like I don't want it to look too structured so you guys can totally leave this eyeshadow look here if you wanted to you could just pop on some lashes and you're kind of good to go but I wanted to add a little bit more sort of drama and sparkle into the center part of my lid so to do that I'm going to be taking this foiled eyeshadow by Makeup Geek this is in the color starry eyed and it's just a really beautiful kind of champagne -y, rose gold shade so I think it's going to complement the purple really well and it's just going to look really beautiful on the center part of the lid so again I'm just going to be using that on my Mac I think this is 242 brush it's one of my favorite brushes for packing on color with and I'm just gonna be packing that onto the inner part of the lid so if you guys are wondering whether or not Adam and I are gonna find out the sex of our baby we're actually not we're gonna leave it as a surprise which I know a few people in our family are dying to find out but I really, really want that surprise. I just think it'll be so nice after you've given birth to kind of like, I don't know, have that moment, whether or not it's a boy or a girl. So Adam and I have no preference either way. I think either would be lovely, just as long as it's healthy and it's happy, that's all we care about. So yeah, we're really, really excited. I have like a strong feeling that I'm gonna have a boy. I think it's because like Adam, is like one of three boys and then his dad is like one of two and I think there are girls in the family but yeah it's always kind of like the firstborn boy is going to be called Adam so if we have a boy we definitely have to name it Adam um, which is lovely like I feel like I don't want to break that tradition like I want to keep it going because it has been going for such a long time so I'm not going to be adding any eyeliner to this makeup look today but I just want to add a little bit of definition on the lash line just because we're going to go in with some false eyelashes and I kind of want them to all blend together more seamlessly so I'm just going to be taking a black eyeshadow this one is by Makeup Geek and this is in the colour Corrupt and with a flat definer brush I'm just going to be pushing that just close to the root of my lashes just to add a little bit more definition and just kind of like help with those eyelashes so now I'm just going to pop on some eyelashes these ones are by Eyelior and these are the dramatic ones and the number 202 so now the eyelashes are on I'm going to move on to the lower lash line I'm going to be taking the shade Wham Bam again and I'm just going to be buffing that through okay so now taking that black eyeshadow again I'm just going to be pushing this up onto the lower lash line just to create some more definition and then adding a coat of mascara to finish now to highlight the inner corner of the eye I'm going to be taking the shade starry eyed which is what we used on the centre part of the lid okay so now moving on to the face I'm going to be contouring using my NYX contour palette I have been obsessed with this ever since I bought it I think I've been using it about 
two months maybe and you can see how much I've used of it already I mainly use these two shades just because they're more suited to my skin tone but I absolutely love the formula and they just look amazing on the skin so I'm just going to be buffing this out onto the cheekbones the sides of my forehead and also around my jawline so I'm also going to be contouring my nose as well I've been doing this quite a lot recently because I really like the way that it looks just gives more of a sort of nose which is what I like although my nose is quite small I feel like it's quite wide as well like especially on the bridge so I do sometimes like just to kind of make the appearance as a little bit more slimmer than it is So now moving on to blush, I'm going to be taking a little bit of this blush by MAC. This is in the colour Love Cloud and it's just a really beautiful, lovely rosy pink. So I'm going to focus that mainly on the apples of my cheeks and then kind of push it back towards the contour. So now moving on to highlighter, I'm going to be taking this Becca... Uh, and Jaclyn Hill collab palette that they done a little while ago and I'm going to be taking a mixture of these two highlighters here I believe this is Champagne Pop and Prosecco Pop So now we've finished off with the face and the eyes and before we move on to lips I'm just going to set it all in place using the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray So now to finish off this look, I'm going to be taking this Stila All Day Liquid Lipstick in the colour Backy. So now just to add a little bit more shine to it, I'm going to be taking a little bit of that highlighter again and I'm just going to be putting that onto the centre of the lips. So guys, this is the finished look. I really, really hope that you enjoyed watching this video. As I mentioned before, if you guys want to see any pregnancy-related videos that I've done, don't forget to leave a comment below or also hit that like button for me and I know to put that up for you. And yeah, I really, really hope that you enjoyed this video. So if you guys are planning to recreate this look for Valentine's Day, don't forget to come and tag me on my Instagram. I'll leave my Instagram username right here if you want to come and follow me. And again, I really, really hope that you enjoyed watching this and I'll see you all again soon. Bye!